Hello everyone, welcome to, to the teaching show. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. And if you find this video useful, please uh, don't forget to like it. Okay, thanks. Uh, so we are developing a course on process calculation and by the end of this video you will know what a balanced flowchart means and how do you select a basis. Okay, so for explaining what is a balancing of a flowchart, I am again taking problem 1 which I had taken in one of the previous videos. The link is given in the comment section. So uh, this is the problem. Uh, 1000 kilograms of feed is going in. It contains benzene and toluene. In equal ratios and it has been asked to calculate how much toluene is coming out in the distillate and how much benzene is coming out in the bottom product so I told you over there that you just apply balance equations and then find out the amounts which have been asked okay once you have calculated once you have applied the balance equations and calculated the unknowns and written it in your flow chart now what you get is a balanced flow chart it is balanced in terms of what material which is going in is coming out okay you can check it for the overall material balance as well as the component balances whatever the amount of benzene is going in it is also coming out so this is a balanced flow chart now this balanced flow chart is very powerful because once i have balanced a flow chart i can use it for different flow rates as well or different amounts as well say for example what I can do is, if I have a balanced flowchart in terms of kg per hour, I can change this. See, this is given in mass per unit time. Uh, unit, uh, so, what I can do is, I can exchange this kg with any other mass unit. So, once the flowchart is balanced, I can replace it with, say, pounds per hour. Or I can also say 1000 grams per hour or whatever, whatever may be the feed in terms of uh, pounds or in kg or in gram. So I can change uh, the units and still my flowchart will be balanced. Okay. Now what I can also do is that I can use the same flowchart, the balanced flowchart for a batch process as well. So in this case, the amount of 1000 kg is going in and I will get the same products. Okay except that now i am getting this these as amounts not as flow rates okay so this is the power of your balanced flow chart now one question may arise to you whether i can exchange this 1000 kg per hour with 1000 moles per hour so the answer is no you cannot use it uh, because you have balanced the flow chart in terms of mass going in and mass coming out so for converting into moles okay you have to divide your thousand by whatever the molecular weight it comes out and then whatever the flow chart you get is then your balanced flow chart in terms of mole so directly you cannot convert you cannot con just take different uh, moles per hour different units and then you cannot say that this is my balanced flow chart okay so in later videos i will uh, show you one more uh, example in which um, you will do this thing like balancing a flowchart first in kg and then converting into moles. So I will take that problem in some later video. Okay. So now one more thing you will see is that uh, I, have, I have given 1000 kg per hour as a feed. Okay. And all the balance calculations I have done based on this feed. Okay. So if there is a feed of 1000 kg per hour then what is coming out will be 450 kg per hour over here and whatever 475 kg per hour over here. So I am doing all the calculations based on this feed. So this feed is basically known as basis of calculation. So this is my basis of calculation because I am using all the balance equations based on this feed, this amount uh, which is given. Okay. So uh, up till now whatever problems uh, we have taken 13 14 problems in all those i had already given you the basis of calculation but certain problems may come to you in which the basis of calculation is not given there you will have to choose a proper basis of calculation okay so now let's understand how to choose a basis of calculation using how to choose a basis using one or two problems so i have taken this problem this is a mixing unit this problem has been taken from i think felder and this is a solve problem 4.3 over here we will just uh, do it in our style okay so the problem statement is an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide 
contains 20% NaOH by mass, it is desired to produce an 8% NaOH solution by diluting a stream of 20% solution with a stream of pure water. Now you have been asked to calculate the ratios that is liter of H2O per kg of food solution and kg of product solution per kg of food solution. Okay, so what was our first step? First step is to make a simple flow chart. Okay, so this is my mixing tank. 20% NaOH solution is coming in. Water as a diluent is coming in. And finally, I am getting 8% NaOH solution as my product. Okay, now for this, you will see that none of the flow rates is given. So I don't have a basis for starting our calculations. No doubt, some compositions are given, but the flow rate of any of the stream is not given. So in order to apply my balance equations, First of all, I have to base it on certain flow rate, okay, and that is known as choosing your basis, okay. So, in this problem, I will choose the basis as 100 kg of feed, okay. Uh, usually, we choose basis uh, or we choose a basis for, of that stream, okay, for which I know the composition completely. So, in this case, I know the composition of two streams. One is this feed and the other is this product stream of NUH which is coming out. So I can equally well choose 100 kg of uh, product which is coming out or I can choose 100 kg of feed which is coming out. So first problem I am going to take um, uh, feed as my basis. Okay. In the next problem I will uh, take my product stream as the basis. Okay. And one more thing you should keep in mind because these mass uh, in this problem mass fractions are given. So I am going to take my uh, basis as in, in, in kg. Okay. If they were given as mole fractions then I would have selected 100 moles or 100 kilo moles. Okay. And it is not necessary that you always choose 100 kg as feed. You can take 100 grams, 1 gram, 100 kg, 1 kg, 1000 kg, 1 pound, 100 pounds, anything you want to choose. Okay. So, for simplicity, it's always very easy to calculate uh, or do the calculations when you take 100 kg or 100 moles or 100 kilo moles. Okay. So, I'm going to take the basis of calculation as 100 kg of feet. Okay. Now, I have to calculate. Uh, second step is I have just drawn a fully labeled flowchart and mark what are knowns and what are unknowns. Okay. And then I have in those variables I have written what I have to calculate. So this is my second step. Now third step is to write down the balance equations and then solve the problem. So there are two components sodium hydroxide and water. Okay. So I can write two independent equations and there are two unknowns right. One is M1 and the other is M2. Okay. So, if I write down overall balance 100 is equal to M1 plus M2, it has two unknowns. So, I cannot use it. So, let's start with NOH balance that is equal to 0.2 into 100 that is equal to 0 0.08 into M2. So, one equation, one unknown, quickly I find what is M2 that is equal to 250 kgs. Now, I am going back and using overall balance and I get M1 equal to 150 kg. Now, here I will assume because the density of the water is not given. So, it is a fair assumption. I can assume that the density of water is 1 liter per kg. So, I get the volume as 150 liters. So, I am now calculating my answers. The ratio M2 by F is 250 by 100 that is equal to 2.5 and V by F is 150 by 100 that is equal to 1.5. Let's take second example. In this case also, I'm just mixing two different acids to produce my mixed acid. Okay. So, it is desired to have a mixed acid which contains 40% HNO3, 43% H2SO4 and 17% H2O. Now, it is given that sulfuric acid, 98% by weight is readily available and I have to mix it with some nitric acid. Now, it has been asked to calculate the strength of nitric acid and the weight ratio of sulfuric acid to nitric acid. Okay, so my first step is to select a basis. Let's see, these all are given as mass uh, fractions. Okay, this is all, this composition is given in mass percentage, okay, by weight. See, 98% by weight, this is by weight. So I'm going to choose uh, kg as my basis. Okay, now which stream I should use? I could have used this stream or this stream. 
but uh, using this stream will be a little tricky uh, i don't think we will be able to solve it so we see what this product stream the full composition is given okay so i told you choose a basis uh, choose that stream as your basis in which you know the composition so we know the product composition so i'm going to choose my product stream as the basis so let's have a basis as 100 kg of product stream which is coming out okay now my second step is draw a fully labeled flowchart and mark all the knowns and unknowns so i'm drawing my fully labeled flowchart i don't know the flow rate or i don't know the amount of sulfuric acid which has to be mixed the amount of nitric acid which has to be mixed the strength of nitric acid okay so there are three unknown variables ms mn and xn1 so i have uh, labeled this flowchart with all the knowns and unknowns and i am also giving out my uh, basis of calculation that is 100 kg of mixed acid now my third step is to calculate or to identify independent balance equations so in this case i see that there are three components sulfuric acid water and nitric acid so i will have three independent balance equations okay now there are three unknowns we, which we have already given ms mn and xn1 so i have three equations three unknowns i can solve it fine so let's see now uh, my fourth step is you write down all the balance equations and determine in which sequence you are going to solve them so i'm going to write my water balance h2so4 balance and hno3 balance okay now let's see which one i can use water balance has two three unknowns I cannot use it. HNO3 balance has two unknowns. I cannot use it. H2SO4 has only one unknown, MS. So I will start with this. So uh, using this equation, I get the amount of sulfuric acid which has to be mixed is 43.88 kg. Now the two equations, the remaining two equations, I will solve them simultaneously. If I solve them simultaneously, I get the value of the amount of nitric acid to be mixed as 56.12 kg and the strength of nitric acid comes out to be 71.2 percent the mole fraction we get is 0 0.712 so it comes out to be 71.2 percent so it has 71.2 uh, percent of nitric acid and the remaining is water okay and then uh, what has been asked you have been asked how much sulfuric acid what is the ratio of the sulfuric acid to nitric acid that has to be mixed so that is equal to 0.782 so uh, this is a very simple problem on first look it looks difficult but i will ask you to follow all these steps so for any problem what you are supposed to do is identify uh, which stream you are going to take as the basis okay and then also identify what will be the units of the basis whether it is kg kg per hour or moles or whatever okay and choose that stream as your basis for calculation for which you know the composition fully okay so first step is select a basis then, then second step just draw a fully labeled flowchart mark what are the knowns what are the unknowns okay then third step is you identify all the independent balance equations you also identify whether the a number of unknowns is equal to your number of independent equations you have okay then only this problem is solvable so you have to first check whether the number of equations and number of unknowns they are equal okay once you have done that then you go and write down all your equations once you have written your equations then you should determine in which sequence you have to solve them take care okay and then what you have to do is solve those equations in that sequence whatever you have determined and then you get the answer so uh, by the end of this video i hope that you have uh, understood what is a balanced flowchart and uh, what do you mean by selecting a basis or choosing a basis for uh, calculation uh, i hope you got something from this video and if you have any comments please leave it in the comment section i will be happy to answer any of your queries thank you so much for watching this video thanks a lot